A pivotal five with contender fight between Brandon Royval and Tetsuro Taira is set for five rounds at the UFC Apex on October 12. Royval taking this fight after beating Brandon Moreno is a champ move. Jose Aldo resides with the UFC to fight Mario Bautista at UFC 307 on October 5 in the Bantamweight bout. Brad Tavares will fight Jung Jung Park at UFC Vegas 98 on October 12 in the middleweight bout. Kayla Harrison, sophomore UFC assignment, comes against Kathleen Vieira at UFC 307 on October 5 in the Bantamweight Clash. There's no hard fight for Kayla at 135 besides actually making 135. Also in the card, Carla Esperza will fight Tisha Pennington over a decade after their Tough 20 exhibition. This pretty much confirms it's Pennington vs Pena title fight for UFC 207. Does that mean Pennington vs Pena main event? Corey McKenna will fight Poliana Viana at UFC Vegas 98 on October 12th in the women's strawweight bout. Bilal Muhammad says he had like to return in November or December, and Shavkar Rahmano will likely be the opponent. Bilal Muhammad and Alexander Volkanovsky had a few words for each other. This is such an odd beef, but I would not mind seeing Bilal vs. Volk. Volkanovsky is going to be the first champ to skip a whole weight division to become double champ. Bilal is one and done after Shavkar Rahmano. This is not worth talking about. Bilal Muhammad's manager Ali Abdelaziz react to Alexander Volkanovsky going off on his clients. Umar Nurmagomedov would like his chances against Mirab Davalishvili. Umar Nurmagomedov says he is ashamed that Sean O'Malley is the UFC bantamweight champion. Call me crazy, but being a UFC champion is pretty manly. Corey Santagin talks to Sean O'Malley and says the fan wants it, and he thinks the UFC wants it. Corey also has Sean to beat Mirab. Cheeto Air talks about the knee that he ate from Sean O'Malley at UFC 299. 99% of the world falling asleep from that knee. In the lead up to the fight, Davis and Figueredo trained with Khabib Nurmagomedo, which Marlon Vera doesn't care about. Instead, he said he will slice up Figueredo if he decides to wrestle. Another team Khabib member might soon make his UFC debut. We are talking about Osman Nurmagomedov, who is Umar Nurmagomedov's brother and Khabib's cousin. Islam Mahajev's welter returns take a new turn as Usman Nurmagomedov's UFC move gets confirmed by Team Khabib. Usman Nurmagomedov is a lightweight fighter and currently Mahajev is the lightweight champion in the UFC. We also know that members of Team Khabib do not fight each other, so it looks like Usman will be the next successor in the lightweight division, quite like how Khabib Nurmagomedov passed the torch to Mahajev before retiring. But if there is even an ounce of truth about him coming to the UFC, Islam Mahachev will need to be quick in deciding the trajectory of his own career. Tony Ferguson is not ready to retire just yet. In danger of a UFC record, eight consecutive loss will Saturday be the last time we see Tony Ferguson compete inside the octagon. Does he realize he can stop fighting altogether? Tal Sonnen, a former teammate of Ferguson, wants to see the UFC fan favorite walk away from the cage, regardless if he defeats Kiesa or not. He thinks Ferguson should prioritize his long-term health over continuing to compete against the best fighters in the world. Dana White talks John Jones and Conor McGregor and it doesn't sound like Conor fight news is coming anytime soon. Conor is done fighting and not because he can't do it anymore, but because he doesn't need to do it anymore. Dana White is saying that he is not very confident that UFC fans will see Nick Diaz fight in 2024. Israel Adesanya speaks out about the Paris Olympic boxing controversy. Just to know that, Algerian boxer Emil Khali failed the gender eligibility test at World Championships and was disqualified last year due to high testosterone levels. Khalif won in just 46 seconds after Italian Angela Carini quit in the 66 kg category on Thursday. Fighters react to Emil Khalid beating Angela Carini in 46 seconds at Olympics. Terence Crawford is ready to move the doubters wrong once again. KSI has officially confirmed that he has pulled out of his Misfits boxing 2 vs 1 fight against Slim Al-Bahar and Anthony Taylor on August 31st due to an injury.
and that's all guys we will see you in the next video and which we will talk about some more news related to mma so till then do whatever you want